Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com. This is Tyler from Fisher Skis, and he's going to walk us through the Affinity and the Voyager Crown Nordic Skis. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. Uh, so these are kind of touring classic skis. We have the Voyager Crown, which is the men's version, and then the Affinity Crown, which is the female version. Uh, what are their differences? What are the similarities? And what are people supposed to use these things for? Um, so this is more of your off-track ski. So okay. uh, it's meant to be used out of track, breaking a little bit of your trail, but you don't want to be in that deep snow, but more of off-track, kind of around your woods, uh, golf course that has like kind of grooming, but not as that well-maintained. Got it. More like that. Cool. Um, so what, what makes a ski able to, to do that besides being in a track or kind of getting into some off trail style stuff. So with Fisher, uh, we have this really sweet crown pattern that goes from edge to edge. So that really helps you get that grip underneath the foot. So that's the grip zone and then the glide zone. Mm -hmm. And with Fisher, we have the efficient forward, which is on these skis, which means that uh, the pocket, the kick pocket, mm -hmm. is moved slightly forward. It makes it a lot easier to kick. Got and it. They soften the tip and the tail, so okay. it helps uh, for not plowing as much. Got it. So when you're like kicking back, it's it, it flexes out just a little bit more when you glide it forward. Yeah. So <laughs> you'll get that plowing motion through that little bit of snow if you're, you know, breaking your own trail a little bit. Yeah. And that's always that's probably the toughest part when you get off trail. Is like just making your first tracks. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the most difficult. Now, uh, with the smaller kick pattern, um, how is that going to be? How is that going to feel different under your foot than a larger one? Like we just we just talked about. Uh, what was the other ski? We just uh, the Adventure 62. The Adventure 62, and that had a very long crown range. How is that going to feel different than what you'll find here in the Voyager in the Affinity? Yeah, so that long crown uh, pattern is really going to help with that fresh new snow. Okay. So this is not as aggressive, so you can, you know, still ski on mm. kind of more skied out areas and it's not going to drag as much. So it's like the other ones for deeper, more rugged kind of conditions. This is more like you're not going to get as much drag. Okay. So. Cool. Now, uh, as for uh, boot compatibility, what is going to work with these uh, with these bindings? Can I shift the position of the bindings? Uh, yes. So it is the Fisher Turnamic uh, binding. So mm. you just pull up on this lever, and you can move it a few spots forward or All a right. few spots back, mm -hmm. depending on if you're getting if you're not getting enough grip, you move it forward, and if you're not getting enough glide, just move it back. It's super easy. There's no tool. So it's really nice and yeah. with that. And, yeah. Cool. So when you use these skis, when you're on the Voyager Crown, do you tend to have your, your binding placement more forward or more back, or are you fairly neutral, and why? Uh, you stay neutral and you kind of adjust from there. So cool. there's, a, there's a weight range for the size of skis, and then, mm. you know, you get a little older, you know, maybe I don't hit the gym <laughs> as much, so I have yeah. to, you know, <laughs> I have to move it uh, back a little bit so okay. I can get uh, a little more glide because I am a little heavier for the ski. Sure, got it. Okay, so I'll probably have to put it back. But it's, <laughs> I suppose, yeah, suppose like, you know, as, as you kind of get into the ski and get used to them, you can change those positions to find out kind of and tweak what works best. And, it, and it's really good because for different conditions too. So mm -hmm. maybe it's really icy track and you feel like you need more grip, it's really move quick and you just move it forward. Uh-huh. So more grip forward, less, more glide backward. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. That's good to know. Yeah. Man. Well, that's pretty fun. You can check both these skis out here at thehouse.com by selecting the links below in the video. Again, this is the Voyager Crown and the uh, Women's Affinity Crown. Uh, what do you think the, your favorite part about these skis is? Uh, it's pretty sweet that they do have this efficient forward. This is a huge innovation in the Nordic industry. Mm. Um, it makes it really easy to kick, even if you don't have good technique. So if you, <laughs> That's you, don't, me. you don't have to be a good, <laughs> you know, ex racer to ski on Nordic skis anymore. You can still go out there and have a great time and get that sweet gl glide. Yep. And just be outside in nature. Yeah. That's the best part. All right. Well, thanks so much. Cool, thank you guys for watching. You know, leave some comments or questions. Let us know what you think of the Voyager or the Affinity Crown skis from Fisher. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more vids there, and hopefully we'll see you on Snow. Peace.